Um, well, we're joined now from New York by the former MP Louise Mensch, who questioned Rupert Murdoch when she sat on the Culture Select Committee. She now writes for several of his newspapers, and with us in the studio, Charlotte Harris, who was one of the lawyers who exposed phone hacking. Uh, Louise Mensch, do you think there are good grounds for your former colleagues to be calling him back to, uh, to be questioned? Not really. And I think, again, I'll be interested to see the reporting on this tomorrow. It sounds like there was a division in the committee and a vote had to be taken. We had John Whittingdale coming out last week when this tape emerged, saying there's really nothing there. And I don't think there, anything, there, any, there is anything there. It sounds to me very much, again, like a bit of partisan peacocking. And they can't recall Rupert Murdoch. He's not a British citizen. They can only invite him to appear. I don't know what he will do. I have no contact with him, but I know uh, so you, you I don't... him. I wouldn't come. You don't think he'll come? I don't know if he'll come or not. It's entirely up to him. But if I were him, I wouldn't bother. This is political posturing and nothing more. Political posturing and nothing more. What, That's um, right. what Mr Murdoch said in public was very, very different to what he said um, in private to his, to his journalists. And so given the discrepancy between the two, he can't really be surprised that in um, this particular environment, particularly when there are all sorts of issues about how the culture and ethics of the press are going to continue in the future, that he should be called back. And whilst one might acknowledge that he doesn't have to come, the invitation in itself is significant. Uh, Louise Mensch, you presumably I mean, that's, think... That's yeah. Frankly... No, come that, in, John, I'm afraid that, isn't, that, is, that is not true. The idea that he is giving one version to some journalists and others to the committee on which I sat is just simply false on its face. One happened after the other one. Um, when he was speaking to some journalists, Neil Wallace had been arrested, put on police bail for a total of 19 months, and then it was decided that there was no evidence and he wasn't to be charged. He was apologising, I think, to journalists for the fact that the Management and Standards Committee handed over absolutely everything everything in a giant dump without a warrant and he had the benefit of hindsight when we summoned him to but, appear it was about the hacking of, of Millie Dowler's phone this is something totally different this but, is nothing uh, more than Mensch, a fishing expedition and there, there is no contradiction with, with respect uh, we're aware that there were three different tapings in that one room with 24 members of his staff this act of betrayal by his own staff in publishing this tape uh, surely speaks to their anger with him not with the situation, but with him. Because, and, and he did indeed give them a, what apparently appears to be a very different a, a, a range of events and a range of views of particularly bribing public officials than that which he gave you. And I'd have thought you, as an erstwhile public official, would be rather outraged by this. No, there's nothing to be outraged about. If you look at the comments, what he actually said, he was uh, responding to a very emotional letter read out to him, as we've all read by the son's agony aunt, um, from the families of journalists who have been arrested. This is as he sees the investigation progressing. When he came before us, the investigation had not progressed. He had been informed as part of the ongoing operation by the Management and Standards Committee okay, that payments well, had been made to police. He that. also knew that other papers had done that, okay. too. Okay, um, so there's no real case to answer according to Louise Mensch. Are there specific issues within the tape that concern you? Well, I don't, I don't think it's right to be an apologist for Mr Murdoch on, on this. There are some things that are concerning. One of the big discrepancies, one of the um, discrepancies is, is this, that on one hand, two years ago, the most humble day of my life. That's one of the, one of the memorable moments of, of meeting Mr Murdoch in public that everybody saw. And now there seems to be a very different attitude. And this is what the, these tapes reveal. The idea that the police are completely incompetent and they're doing something wrong by arresting journalists. I can quite understand his empathy with journalists who are being woken up at 6 o'clock in the morning and the criminal process. But what is quite disturbing is how he appears to believe now certainly now, that criminal practices did take place and that he's prepared to support the journalists anyway and they don't seem to feel the same way about him. Right, let's specifically look at the police. Presumably you regard them as politically motivated as well. Why on earth would they be investigating him if, as you regard this as a totally trivial matter? 
Well, they've said they want to look at it as potential evidence. I think your headline there, police are investigating Rupert Murdoch, is over-egging the pudding quite a bit. They have to look at anything that relates well, to sorry, police, police, but all Mr Murdoch is doing is... It's what is they've told us. They said they're Mr. investigating Murdoch. him for conspiracy to commit a misdemeanor in public office. That may be a minor crime to I you, believe but that, it seems to be rather serious Well, at the opening the of your report... John, at the opening of your report, what I heard was they consider this potential evidence of investigation of misconduct in a public office, though I'm not quite sure what public office he holds. He is referring to his knowledge that's come out through the investigation that the, the MSC was provided, that payments to police had taken place. He also knew it was widespread throughout uh, Fleet Street. We've seen that the mirror is also being investigated. So, no, I don't think there's anything there. Louise and the Met has troubles of its own. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, and Charlotte Harris too. Thank, Thank you. you.